guys, I'm back with the New Moon Leo Tarot Spread. Uh, that's happening tomorrow. Coincidentally, simultaneously, uh, is when Mercury Retrograde begins. We've been in the pre-shadow period, okay? For the next two weeks, we know what Mercury Retrograde entails. Um, miscommunication, people from the past showing up, um, delays in travel, glitches with technology. Um, the best thing that you can always do during a Mercury Retrograde is just ground yourself, okay? Um, Leo energy, okay? Leo energy talks about um, Leos are feisty. Leos are confident, okay? Leos have immense willpower and strength, okay? Um, in the tarot, you know, they're depicted within the sun, the sun card and the strength card, okay? Um, it talks about power. It talks about willpower, okay? Sorry, this like, light keeps like going off on me. I'm just trying to light my Palo Santo and bring in the good vibes here before I start the reading. No, it's gonna mess up my all good things or positive vibes. That's all I want, bro. Okay, guys, let's get started with this tarot spread. Okay, no moons are about magic, manifestations, uh, new beginnings. Okay, we are doing the new moon and Leo tarot spread for the collective for August. 4th and 5th, 2024. The first card is the energy. Ooh, these cards are just coming out. The second card is what you need to focus on. What does the collective need to focus on for the no one Okay. Uh, what is the collective's action? Or what action do they need to take for this no one meal? Uh, where does the collective shine? Mm -hmm. Message for from the guides for the collective for the new moon and the Page of Cups, okay? Uh, Page of Cups talks about, this is the, the bottom of the deck, okay? I always take this as the overall theme of the reading. Page of Cups is a very childlike energy when it comes to pouring into things. Uh, pages are about the idea, okay? So something about an idea of pouring into something um, or pouring very little into something, okay? This could be a child, okay? Um, a child might be, maybe just, just eh. My words, I'm getting tongue-tied. A child might be very significant, okay? Um, I'm getting something about immature communication. Um, backtracking a little bit, my messages that came in before I even got on camera were I got time and the fire is settling in, okay? Um, Leo is a fire energy. Um, it, it is a fire sign, so that might be very significant as well for someone out there, okay? Um, the first card is the energy, and the energy was two of swords, okay? Someone at a crossroads, someone keeping themselves in stalemate, okay? You have a choice. You don't want to make that choice, okay? There's something that you're refusing to see. There's something that you're refusing to ponder about or say okay you're keeping yourself um blocked in communication or blocked in action or blocked in cutting something off you're still pondering this thing in your head um the second card is what you need to focus on you got the ace of wands okay ace of wands talks about 
a brand new begin a brand new passionate beginning it talks about the wand of manifestation um a brand new beginning in actions and in initiative and in drive um something about a brand new passionate beginning okay this is what you need to focus on so something about like actually taking action on this in on this indecision or crossroad that, that you're having like actually making it happen um i'm also getting something about a new action something about like um something that you an action that you've been that has been keeping you in some type of cycle and you doing a brand new action to give yourself that new beginning okay the third card is your action the moon there's something here that you're not being honest with yourself about okay or something that you're keeping from yourself or others the moon talks about clarity okay um coincidentally you know it's the new moon in leo okay so there's something here about setting an intention to make this happen to get out of this indecision um to get out of this crossroad to see things clearly for what they are um using your intuition to give yourself clarity um i'm hearing what's done in the dark is going to come to the light something that someone has been doing in the shadows that's going to come into the light okay the fourth card is where you shine knight of swords but it came out side to side okay knight of swords is someone that takes definitive action someone that tells it like it is um actively acting on this actively giving people a piece of their mind um actively um telling it like it is okay or actively cutting things out that do not serve your highest good but for some reason this is where you shine this is like your strength for some reason you're undecided about this and again i double back to that two of swords okay you're usually quick to cut something out you're usually quick to say something you're usually quick to like make up your mind about stuff um and there's an energy of like you still pondering with the idea or you not really seeing the woods for the trees is that the saying the trees for the woods the trees for the forest one of those things um It's like it, this thing has you all up in your head to the point where it's it's kept you in like stagnation. Like you've kept yourself in stagnation from taking this action um, where you actually shine it. Meaning like that's you. This is your strength. OK, this is like this is something that you excel at this. Um, your logic too, like, you know, using your logic quickly, using your logic um, and being rational. Sorry, guys, I got it interrupted by my little Gemini. Uh, <laughs> um, I'm trying to think about what was I, I was going to say. Oh, yeah, you you were using your, your logic, like using rash. You're able to rationalize things. And this is like something that is almost like it's like it's not a habit for you it's more like natural to you but it's like this thing this indecision about something has you like second guessing it the fifth the fifth card is your message from your guides which is like extra guidance for you you got the devil the reason why you're in this indecision about the choices that you want to make is because you're dealing with a devil you're dealing with something toxic. You're dealing with something, uh, some some type of codependency. Okay, so this may be some type of attachment or bond or soul tie that you have to a person, place, or thing. Um, this is some type of addiction. Okay, you're one eleven on my time. You're battling an addiction of some kind. Okay, 
when it comes to this person, place, or thing that either you need to cut out or you need to omit or you need to give a piece of your mind to or you need to speak to, okay? It's like you're bonded to this person. You see the binds? You're bind this per this person, place, or thing. Um, I should reiterate, okay, because it's not always about a person um within situations. Um The devil the devil also talks about negative self-talk, okay? So be very mindful of I'm hearing counting yourself out, meaning taking the blame for something or being too hard on yourself while you're going through this indecision, okay? Um One and five is six. That talks about fears and procrastination and taking your time when making an action, okay? But with the devil, under you know, signifying that six, it's more like that devil on your shoulder telling you that you need this person, place, or thing, telling you that you would be worthless without this person, place, or thing. Maybe that person, it, the devil, you know, is, is literally personified, um, and telling you these things, okay, where it's got you in your head about it. Um, it's like almost like you're battling yourself too, like I'm hearing. You could be battling yourself at this time with taking this action. I'm hearing shadow side. You could be battling literally your shadow or like struggling with a, sh a shadow aspect of yourself or a personified shadow of the uh, of this person of this person personified yeah um if it's a thing or or, or a, a, a place um it's more like this thing or place appeals to your shadow and, and it's got you tied into it for that reason i hope i'm making sense i hope i'm bringing clarity um Clarify with this. What else could this signify? Clarify this reading. Clarify my words. Let's go even further. Water signs might be significant. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. That might be within your big three, sun, moon, rising. It might be in your Mercury because we got a lot of swords energy here. Um, Mars, Venus, Jupiter, Neptune, and Saturn, and Pluto. It's saying let go. Make room for the new beginning on its way to you now. Butterfly, of course, is very significant. Metamorphosis. Transformation. New phases. With the Page of Cups 2 in the bottom of the deck, I'm getting like an inner child. You're battling an inner child in your shadow on this. Okay? If this is internally. I mean, it's 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 clear as day what you need to do, but for some reason, it's like you're having a very hard time doing this. This could also be just you cutting out some type of energy or cutting out some type of cutting an etheric cord or cutting an attachment um, and being done with it. It's easier said than done if you're still in the grieving process. It's easier said than done if you're still healing from this, okay? Um, if you're still in contact with this person, place, or thing. It's, it's, I know, it's tough. I 
feel like you already know the answers. I feel like if you didn't know, it's going to become very, very transparent to you upon this new moon. Um, I would set an, an intention for that, for, to gain clarity. I would set an intention to be able to speak clearly, think clearly um, for intuition and, and further insight. Because part of the process of manifestation is actually taking those steps that you're guided to take. Okay? And stop second guessing yourself. You're a lot smarter than what you give yourself credit for. Um, guys, thank you so much uh, for tuning in. I'm available for personal readings, parties, and events. All my information is within the description box. Thank you so much, and I'll see you in the next reading. Take care.